be hiding in here somewhere. Maybe there's a trail. Maybe one of these lockers. <sighs> Empty. Got to check the last one. My name is Lara, and your gun isn't loaded. I can see the cylinder is empty. The firing pin never worked anyway. You're hurt. I just need to sit down for a moment. Lara, was it? I'm Nadia. I could use your help. What can I do? My grandfather snuck out of the village in the night. I think he's headed for the Wicked Vale, where the witch Baba Yaga lives. I was trying to catch up with him when the invaders caught me. Before I was born, the witch killed my grandmother. Grandpa always talked about revenge, but I never thought he'd actually go through with it. There isn't much time, and I'm in no condition to go myself. We have to find him. I'll head out that way and see if I can pick up his trail. Oh, thank you. The path to the Vale is through the cave to the east of here. Hold on. 
There's a trail here. Well worn. Laura, I found a radio on one of the invaders you killed. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. I can monitor the invaders' frequencies from here while I patch myself up. I'll let you know if I hear anything useful. What more can you tell me about the Wicked Veil, Nadia? My people stay far away from that place. They have for centuries. When the Soviets were here, they tried to build an outpost in the Vale. But they angered Baba Yaga, and she drove them all mad. <clears throat> Grandpa told me all about her. She lives in a magic house that can walk with the legs of a bird. Do you believe all that? The house with the bird legs? I trust Grandpa. He was in the Gulag when the Soviets took my grandmother into the Vale to help them study the ruins. The witch killed her, <clears throat> and he's never forgotten that. But... A witch straight out of a Russian folktale. It sounds unlikely. Just be careful. Something is in the veil. Nothing good happens in that place. Hang on, I'm picking up a transmission. You need to hear this. Definitely happening out there. Whatever it is, we'll get to the bottom of it. Is there any more sign from Grandpa? Are you still on the path to the Vale? No, but I'll head back and look soon. Just take the wooden path along the cliff. It'll lead you right there. No need to go inside the old temple. Head down to the wooden walkway along the cliff. There should be a rope leading to it. That path will take you straight to the veil.
Without this place, this divine sculpture of wind and rock, we would have been lost. The story of the scout who found this place is well known to us all, but most of you do not know how close we came to dying. We were lost in the mountains, no food, no hope. We had begun to doubt the prophet himself, but the scout heard the sound and took it to be a sign. He alone ascended these cliffs, drawn by the music, and from there he saw our salvation. This is not just a shrine to him and his bravery, but to the strength of our faith. Hmm. This was some sort of a shrine. Pilgrims came here to show their respect. The Wicked Veil vale isn't far now. Just head down that wooden walkway along the cliff. Grandpa made it that far, at least. You're almost into the veil. Nadia, I think I found your wicked veil. I don't know if it's Baba Yaga, but there's something out here. Be careful. This is her land. Nadia, my granddaughter. By now you already know. I am going into the veil to kill the witch, Baba Yaga. I have gone to seek revenge for your grandmother. There are newcomers in our valley armed with men arriving in helicopters. I do not know what they want, but I know if I am to go, this is my last chance. You deserve to know the truth, to know why. Your grandpa is not a wise man. I have become, with hard work, a good man for your grandmother's sake. But it was not always so. I came from the West, where even a small village has thousands of inhabitants. I was a lazy young man, and I dreamed of an easy life when I joined the party. A comfortable desk in the big city. But they sent me here, to the ends of the... Oh, it's not possible. It's just a myth. Out here. <laughs> 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 the Should not come off and
Hallucinating. God, I hope I was. Hallucinating? There... There is a flower in a valley that can bring on visions, but the effects are too weak. Any idea what this place is? I see ducks and pipes. Soviet from the looks of it. It has to be the outpost the Soviets built to study the ruins. My grandmother was a scholar and they brought her here to help with her research, but... <coughs> That was the last time Grandpa ever saw her. There was only one survivor, an officer who stumbled out a few weeks later. He said the witch made them do things. Someone's been in here, recently, building on top of the ruins. What do you see? Some sort of makeshift distillery. It smells just like the flowers. Shit! Of course! She's refining the pollen, weaponizing it. There's no magic here, Navia, just someone very clever. Wait, but if it is just a person, then wouldn't the pollen affect her too? If she can resist it somehow, then so can we. It's been weeks since these bastards dragged me from the Gulag, from Ivan and my daughter, to this strange vale. They have tasked me with finding some way of counteracting the unusual effects of the pollen that hangs in the air. Now I believe I have a formula that may work. An extract from the seed pods of the plant. The liver of animals that consume the flowers and have metabolized the toxins. A phenothiazine derivative. The last ingredient is a risk. They have it in large quantities around the Gulag, where it is used as an insecticide. It may also act as a rudimentary antipsychotic, bearing a chemical similarity to other compounds I have studied. Or it may be poisonous. I will try the mixture on myself tonight. I found something. 
One of the prisoners wrote down a formula that might counteract the effects of the pollen. It has to be for my grandmother. The witch killed her, and now she's going to help save Grandpa, just like in one of his stories. Uh, Nadia. Have faith, Laura. Hop back to the Soviet installation where we met. I'll help you find what you need. I don't have the words to describe what I just saw. I went inside the wicked Vale looking for Nadia's grandfather. I barely escaped with my life. It was like a fairy tale but through a broken, filthy mirror. Dad, I know intellectually it was all in my mind. But All right, Nadia, I'm back at the installation. Any advice on where to start looking? Okay, first, the seed pots. The flowers grow inside the caves around there. There's never enough of them to make you sick, so you should be able to gather some safely. The livers should be easy. The deer around there feed on the flowers, so you'll just need to track them down. As for the insecticide, I have an idea where we might find some. Grandpa taught me to read Russian, so I'm going through some old equipment manifests to see if I can find out where they stored it. I'll let you know when I find it. All right, I'll start gathering the other supplies now. Soviet soldiers. Something awful happened here. flowers. Just need the seed pods now. Laura, I got something you'll want to hear. I'm patching you in. Bravo team is still MIA. We haven't got any transmission since the distress call. We're gonna need to send a rescue party. Finish up your patrol around the Soviet installation. See if you can pick up the native girl's trail. She's involved in Bravo's disappearance somehow. We need better intel before we send more of you in there. Copy that. Can you get somewhere safe? I'm in one of those old safe houses, and I have snares set outside. Worst case, there's a tunnel underneath I can use to escape, but I still need to finish going over the manifest. Is this normal for you, Laura? 
I'm not used to it. You know, people trying to kill me. I don't think it's something you can get used to. Just stay safe. They were scared, cut off them. Better make any. These aren't fresh recruits. These were career killers. And they were jumpy. They were messed up. So we saw Phantom was just in the park right down there. Ghost man. You start thinking like that and it never stops. Who was that?
chemical from grandmother's notes? Phenothiazine. I think I found it. They stored it in the lower levels of the copper mill where they used it to deal with the termites in the summer. Are you sure it's the same chemical, Nadia? I'm sure it's the chemical grandmother's recipe mentioned, but I am not sure that it will be safe to drink. Suppose we'll find out. I'll head there now. Found it. I'm mixing the ingredients now. Any word on that patrol? Just picked up another transmission. They're on the move. Where are they now? They're... oh no. They're headed straight for you. You might be able to sneak past them, but it's probably too late. Advancing Sorry, the cover! Damn. Advancing the cover! Just you and me! forward to it to be honest. If it does, I'll make my own and meet you at the veil. I'll let you know when I get there.
Only enough for two doses. Got to make them count. It's working, Nadia. Everything looks... Normal is the wrong word, but nothing like the last time. Good. I've made my own antidote and enough for Grandpa, if we find him. I'm on my way to meet you now. Scarecrows, of course. same place. I was lost in here. Half expected him to still be here. When the guilt of working in the gulag became too strong, I would lash out. A stolen screwdriver, misplaced paperwork, futile gestures that would never balance the scales. One day, I was caught taking a stupid risk. Your grandmother, Serafima, she spoke up, took the blame. They beat her. Mercilessly. But I was saved. When I found the moment to thank her, she spat at my feet, told me I had risked my life for nothing, challenged me to do more. You have so much of her in you, Nadia. At first, I thought her cruel. She gave me no credit for my little acts of disobedience. That place, the gulag, it, it crushed hope and ate what little scraps of dignity remained. Every day I did not fight it with my whole heart, she said. I was complicit in atrocity. She demanded my honesty because she knew I was capable. It was the greatest kindness anyone had ever shown me, and I loved her for it. Trinity gear. It's all wrong. Lost the old man entering the veil. Lost Fisher. Lost Parker. Just gone. No trace. <sighs> Can't trust the eyes. Seeing things. Corpses. Worse. Things that walk. So huge they hide the stars. <sighs> Can't tell what's real. Not sure there is a real. Is it the eyes? The eyes have to go. My hands are steady now. Billings goes first. Stop! Hold still! Must have walked right past it last time. No bodies, though. Maybe they're still alive in here. Nothing. Just a forest. It was so real. Nadia, what do you know about these ruins out here? Even before the witch made her home there, her people avoided the veil. The founders were building a shrine out there, but something happened to them. None of us have been in there in generations. Be careful. Even if your visions weren't real, that place is still deadly. We decided to wait until winter passed. We hid supplies. We made maps. We planned. I got her a work detail indoors. She helped me find ways to slow the grinding gears of the Gulag. If I could disable a hydraulic lift, I could keep a hundred men from one day in the mines. Cut the wiring of a few trucks. There would be no special work projects for another week. I took greater risks. But once I had met your grandmother, I could not return to the sin of ignorance. We knew that the child would complicate our escape. And she hid it as long as she could. And then, without warning, they took her away. Our daughter was given to a nursemaid among the native prisoners. And they dragged Serafima away to the Vale. The 
I tried to stop them. Fighting in the open, I stood in front of the transport truck, prepared to kill to save her. But there were too many of them. I screamed my farewell as they dragged me away. And I don't know if she heard. I'm up on the first of the ruins now. This doesn't look like a shrine. This was something functional. I see ropes and wooden gears. The founders built lifts elsewhere in the valley to move people or supplies between the peaks, but they've all fallen apart now. That has got to be what it is. See if you can make your way up to the top. I'll be right there. I'm in the canyon now. I'll let you... It's dark. The others are out there. I can hear them. Panting. Moment of clarity. But it's slipping. Coming less frequently. We're sick. Poisoned. Something. Doesn't matter. Forgot why we came here. Forgot where we were before. Barely remember who I am. Someone else here. Walking amongst us as we grovel and weep. A spirit. A goddess. A demon. She is whispering. We listen. Listen. No one ever arrived. Maybe I can anchor a rope on that pulley. Maybe I can anchor a rope on that pulley. Maybe I can anchor a rope on that pulley.
that. The witch has kept the lift running all this time. It looks like she even made a few improvements, but I don't think those ropes will survive many more trips. It only needs to make one. Two. I'd like to come back down. Eventually. Over on the platform. Maybe it'll get us moving. <sighs> Your witch is clever. Veil is arranged to perpetuate the myth of Baba Yaga. The pollen does the rest. The last time I saw the lift, it looked nothing like this. What did you see? Just as the legend says, a house walking on giant bird legs. But without the pollen, it's just an old contraption. I'm sorry. I'm so sure of Grandpa's story. She's Russian, someone who knew the myth well. Nadia, it's possible that your grandfather will know who she is. He was a prisoner in the Gulag, you said. I didn't say that. Not exactly. Grandpa was a god. My grandmother was the prisoner. She was a brilliant scientist, and they brought her out to the Vale to help study something in the ruins. But then the witch came. Grandpa never forgave himself. Killing the witch won't bring her back, but I understand. Let's just hope we can reach him in time. Dose remaining. Make it count. She has to be inside. This is it. Bravo, team. The missing soldiers, they're here. It's her. Always been her. At the margins, in the dark. Always there. She, she is what we came here for. We just didn't know it until now. She is the center of the world. She can make the fog swirl and choke our minds. She can give us clarity. She spoke her name, Baba Yaga, and our wounds healed. With another word, she split us open again. We are nothing, and we are hers. We will do as she commands. We were made for this. Oh God, what has she done to them? They put me with the other Russian prisoners. I could see the hate in their eyes, and I didn't blame them. To them, I was just another instrument of their humiliation and degradation. I didn't tell them what I tried to do. It could never be enough. When the revolt came, I was ready. The native prisoners, the ones the Gulag recruited from this very village, were kept apart from the Russians. They had known of my resistance, and that kept them from killing me, along with the other guards. I held my daughter, your mother, for the first time as the Gulag burned around us. The people of the village took us both in, and against their own superstition, agreed to help me rescue your grandmother from the veil.
No. I need that last antidote. This is the last of it. They're just men. You can do this. Oh, man! 
it real. Keep going, damn it. Can 
hear me? Bit busy at the moment. Grandpa's oh, awake. He says. He says it's her, Laura. The witch is my grandmother. She's alive. Please. You can't. Maybe, maybe we can get through to her. We have to try. I'll do what I can, but we have to end this, Nadia. I know who you are. 
I can only imagine what you've gone through to stay alive. <laughs> you have no idea. It's over now. You don't have to live like this anymore. Serafima. But you died. They, they told me you died. Will she be all right? I don't know. But it won't be easy for any of you. Family never is. Oh, I know. I know. Thank you, Laura, for everything. Give them a little time alone while I look around some more. 